Hey guys, welcome to your second lesson on the social structure of ancient Egypt on my ancient Egypt website. Um, this lesson we're going to cover uh, one of the most important uh, levels of the social structure we discussed in the last lesson, the pharaoh, and what the job of the pharaoh was, uh, what they did, and how they ran their country. Um, so the first activity you've got uh, is to watch uh, this animation from CGI animated short films. Um, this one is called Pharaoh, it's really good. Um, it's about a young pharaoh who has to make a decision about a rebellious slave, uh, and you've got three questions you need to answer after you've watched the video. So what three levels of the social pyramid did we see in the video? I'm just giving away uh, the answer to two of those. Uh, why was the slave punished? And from watching the video, what responsibilities do you think pharaohs had in ancient Egypt? So the purpose of this video is it's very cool to see, you know, a kind of a pharaoh's throne room and some of the uh, heavier decisions they had to make. Um, but this is a really good video at getting you to think about well, what do I think the responsibilities of the pharaoh are? Like, what do I think the pharaoh had to do? Just to get your brain activated before you begin. The next activity you've got, guys, is a little source here uh, that I've uh, drawn up. Uh, so you need to read the description around uh, this picture of a pharaoh I've done up uh, and answer these eight questions on it. So list uh, three things that made the pharaoh the most powerful person in Egypt. Uh, so you can get that information from the reading as well. What gods did the people believe the pharaoh had a connection to? Again, that answer is in there as well. Uh, the dot points, you can see there, uh, in the information contain the duties of the pharaoh. Which duties involved his godlike powers? So, remember, people believed that the pharaoh was a, literally uh, a god amongst men, and so they believed that he or she could do uh, godlike things. Uh, what are the two items the pharaoh is holding? What does the red crown symbolise? What does the white crown symbolise? Uh, who owned most of the land in Egypt as well? And how did the pharaoh generate money? So you can zoom in on some of this writing as well uh, if you can't see it as well in the zoomed out version. And then lastly, guys, your teacher has set you an education perfect task called Significant Figures in Ancient Egypt. And this is what it looks like here. It goes for about 24 minutes um, if you really stick at it. And it will cover some information on the role of the pharaoh as well as introduce you to a few pharaohs we're going to learn about in a couple of lessons time as well. So just to recap, uh, you're, you've been thinking about what the roles of the pharaoh are by watching this video here and answering these three questions. Links to your first lesson on the social structure as well. Your second job is to look at the source that I've done up here and then answer these questions in your book. And then lastly, completing that education perfect task as well. Um, thanks for watching guys. And remember, if you enjoy using my Ancient Egypt website, and watching these videos, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you want to stay updated to any changes I make to this site or any other new videos I upload or any other new websites I create. Thank you guys and I'll see you for our lesson on the gods.